On Sunday, the Russian military confirmed that 200 of its soldiers were killed in a raid on a headquarters in Syria. The loss is the biggest for Russia since it began its intervention in Syria's civil war in September 2015. The Russian defense ministry said the raid was carried out by terrorists on Saturday night. It did not say who carried out the attack. The ministry said the soldiers were killed while they were sleeping and that the attackers used artillery and mortars. The ministry added that the attackers were neutralized by Russian forces. It did not give any details on how many attackers there were or how they were killed. Russia has been providing military support to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad in the country's civil war. The intervention has turned the tide of the conflict in Assad's favor and helped him regain control of large parts of the country. But it has also killed thousands of civilians and caused a humanitarian crisis. Russia has been accused of targeting civilians and using indiscriminate force in its bombing campaign. It has denied the accusations. The Sedanite attack is likely to increase international pressure on Russia over its role in Syria's civil war. The United Nations has called for a ceasefire in Syria to allow humanitarian aid to reach civilians. But Russia has vetoed several resolutions calling for a truce. The U.S. State Department condemned the attack and called on Russia to immediately cease its indiscriminate military actions in Syria. We stand with the international community in demanding an immediate end to Russian airstrikes in Syria, which have killed so many civilians, State Department spokesman John Kirby said in a statement. These strikes are unacceptable and must stop. British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson also condemned the attack and called on Russia to play a constructive role in finding a political solution to the conflict. The UK calls on Russia to use its influence to help bring about a ceasefire in Syria and allow much-needed humanitarian assistance to reach those civilians most in need, Johnson said in a statement. We also continue to believe that there can be no lasting peace in Syria without a political transition away from the Assad regime. The raid comes as Syrian government forces, backed by Russian airstrikes, are closing in on the city of Aleppo. Aleppo is the last major stronghold of rebel forces fighting against Assad's regime. The city has been devastated by the conflict and its civilian population has been trapped by the fighting. The United Nations has warned that a humanitarian catastrophe is unfolding in Aleppo. More than 250,000 people are estimated to be trapped in the city without access to food or medical supplies. The International Committee of the Red Cross has called for an immediate ceasefire in Aleppo to allow aid to reach civilians. But Russia has rejected calls for a truce, saying it would only allow rebels to regroup and continue fighting. The Sedanite attack is likely to increase international pressure on Russia over its role in Syria's civil war. The United Nations has called for a ceasefire in Syria to allow humanitarian aid to reach civilians. But Russia has vetoed several resolutions calling for a truce. The U.S. State Department condemned the attack and called on Russia to immediately cease its indiscriminate military actions in Syria. This is by far the biggest loss that Russia has suffered in recent memory, and it is a devastating blow to their military capabilities in Chechnya. The raid was meticulously planned and involved a large number of troops and armored vehicles. The Russian forces were caught completely off guard and were unable to put up much resistance. The headquarters was completely destroyed and all of the soldiers inside were killed or wounded. This is a major victory for the United States and France, and it shows that they are still capable of inflicting significant damage on Russian forces. This raid is sure to have a major impact on the ongoing conflict in Chechnya, and it is likely to result in a shift in the balance of power. The Russians will undoubtedly be looking for revenge, and there is likely to be further violence in the coming weeks and months. Follow World News Channel for more updates.